Hello! So, sorry it's been a while. Um, you can see this shirt I've got. I got these shirts online. I'm so excited. Uh, I think he's gay. I think I'm going to get more gay shirts. But anyway, I also got this other shirt that I was wearing the other day that um, it says marriage is rated E for everyone using the same logo as they use for video games. Anyway, um, I wore that the other day to school and the first person to comment on it was this gentleman that said, I, I don't think that happily married couples will like that shirt. I think that's what he said. He said, happily married couples won't like that shirt. Yeah, okay. Anyway, when he said that, uh, at first I was, of course, entirely nonplussed. Uh, but after I recovered from that, you know, I just said, well, I like this shirt because... I do. That's why I bought it, because I like it. And, and I think it's a good message. I think marriage is for everyone, and, and that uh, we shouldn't discriminate against who can marry and who can't. Um, anyway, when, when I thought about it some more, I thought about it a lot that day, and, and I was like, you know, of all the people that should support gay marriage, that should support rights for all people to marry. Of all the people in the world that should be supportive, it should be happily married couples because they know that marriage is a good thing. They know that marriage can bring happiness. They personally know in their own life that marriage has made them happy. So why, why wouldn't they want it for everyone? Why wouldn't they want it for people that are in love, you know, for gay couples, straight couples, for anybody, um, you know, to share? that wonderful experience they have, you know, to share with other people. I mean, whenever I'm happy, I'm, I'm not selfish, you know, I want to share that happiness with other people. If, you know, if there's, um, if there's like a cool deal or something, I'll tell people about it. I'll be like, hey, this is really exciting. You know, when I was, when I was Mormon and, and I felt like that made me happy, I shared it with other people. I was a missionary. I didn't have any problem telling other people, this is what makes me happy. And that's just the way I am. I like to share things that make me happy. And, and I really think that's the way happily married people should be. You know, I, I can understand um, people that are unhappy in marriage or people that ha have been in a divorce that was really ugly. I can see them discouraging people from getting married or, you know, not necessarily banning gay marriage, but maybe discouraging gay people from getting married just so they can avoid the misery that they themselves had. You know, I can understand that. But I thought it was interesting this guy said happily married people won't like that shirt. And uh, that didn't, didn't make sense to me. Um, so uh, that's, that's just what I thought about it. I was like, you know what? The other thing is the other thing is, this, this gentleman, and I don't mean to be insensitive, but he, he had a hearing impairment. And I thought, you know, he probably knows what it's like to be, mm, be a minority, to be kind of, he might have been bullied, he might have been teased because of his impairment, but at the very least, life is harder for him because of it. Um, you know, he's, he's probably had to make a lot of adjustments to his life simply because of his hearing problem. And I thought he should be sensitive to people that are different. You know, when, when you have that experience, and I think most people do, in fact, I think everybody does have something that sets them apart, something that lets them feel isolated, ostracized in some way. And I think that, that this should give compassion. It should, I mean, being gay has definitely given me compassion. I feel for other people that are marginalized or oppressed, repressed, suppressed, whatever word. Um, and, and it's made me more compassionate. It's made me care about other people more and try to understand their situation before I judge them. Uh, so I think that's, that's the other thought I had. I was like, you know, you really should be more empathetic, uh, you know, when, when you're trying to, you know, talk about other people, judge other people, you know, think about how you would feel in that situation 
being told that you don't have the right to marry because you're in love with the wrong person. Um, anyway, uh, that's, that's basically it for today. As you all know, I'm definitely in favor of marriage equality. I don't, I don't see why, um, I don't, I don't see why it's anyone's business who I marry and who I don't marry. Um, other than my own and the person I'm marrying, if we both agree to it, then I don't see, I don't see why anyone else should have a say. I don't see why it should be put to a public vote. I mean, I think that it should be something that all people should uh, be able to do. Um, and I, I mean, Conrad and I will get married. We will, um, probably later this year, uh, and uh, we're very excited about it. We're very excited about it. So I think I think everybody should uh, should be excited to get married. You know, when 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 they're planning a marriage, you know, be excited about it. They should it should be a happy time that they can share with their friends and family, and and that everybody rejoices in. Um, and I don't I don't think it should be a, a bitter thing. I don't think that it should offend people. I don't think that. People should be discouraged or distraught or depressed because they find out that a loved one is getting married. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, but that's about it. I think that's, uh, I think that's all I really wanted to say in, in this particular episode. So it's kind of short, but I, I'll come up with some more later. Toodles.